Now, the image of God does not refer to physical functions or abilities that the one possesses. It does not mean that, that you have more image of God in you than others just because you are taller, stronger, or smarter. Because the image of God is not about your, your, your physical abilities or function. The image of God is a status, a status place on humanity that the animal kingdom does not have. You see, church, the animal kingdom, including monkeys and apes, the animal kingdom does not have the image of God, even though some animals have very similar body and cognitive functions to us. So what exactly then is the image of God? Well, the image of God is a status, a status given to humans to represent God on earth and to bring life and order to their dominion, to their dominion when they function on earth. And that's the dominion mandate given to us in Genesis, right? So it, it is a, it's a status given to represent God and to bring life and order to our dominion on earth. So the concept of dominion is about providing leadership to care for and to steward the earth's resources. So with that definition, let's come back right now to the Genesis text. Because the scope of dominion is not over both the spiritual and the earthly realms. You see, church, God set the boundaries for humanity to represent Him, to image Him, to represent Him, and have dominion in the physical realm. Therefore, humanity's dominion is on earth. And to effectively have dominion on earth, we are each given a physical body to do the job. 